Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple one pot delicious chicken biryani using an instant pot. To begin with, we need to soak the basmati rice. I have taken 2 cups of basmati rice. I'm covering it with enough water and then soaking it for 30 minutes. While that is soaking, let's start the instant pot. Put it under saute mode. Heat some oil and some ghee in it. Let's add whole garam masalas starting with few bay leaves followed by some cinnamon sticks, 1 star anise, 1 black cardamom, some green cardamom and cloves and finally some cumin seeds. Let these sizzle in oil for a minute and then add sliced green chilies to it. I have used about 6 to 7 for 2 cups of rice. You can throw in a few extra if you prefer it more spicy. Now add sliced onions to it and fry them till they turn slightly golden. After frying for about 10 minutes you should see the onions will turn soft with crisp edges and this is the right stage to add our ginger garlic paste. This might stick to the bottom, so keep frying, stirring it constantly. Once that gets fried well, let's add in the chopped tomatoes to it and saute along with the onion. As you can see, as soon as you add the tomatoes, it will start to deglaze the pan and whatever that is sticking to the bottom will come off right away. Once the tomatoes turn mushy, let's add the chicken pieces to this. I have used whole cut chicken which will yield a much flavorful biryani when compared to boneless chicken. On top of this, we are going to add some thick yogurt. Yogurt actually acts as the tenderizer. It will keep your chicken meat nice and soft. Now we will add some coriander leaves followed by some fresh mint leaves. Now add some turmeric powder, coriander powder, red chilli powder and some salt. Mix everything well to coat the chicken with the masala powder and saute for few minutes. As you cook the chicken will release its juice and the whole thing will turn into a thick gravy like consistency. If using whole cut chicken, make sure you cook the chicken for about 75% so the rest can get cooked well with the rice. Saute all of this until the gravy at the bottom turns semi thick. Now that the gravy is done, let's bring in the rice. This rice has been soaking for 30 minutes. I have washed it well. I have drained all the water and now we are going to add this to the chicken mixture. Let's mix the rice with the gravy. Keep it gentle so that way it doesn't break the rice. And now for the water measure, I am using 1 is to 1 and a half ratio. That is for 2 cups of rice, you need a total of 3 cups of liquid measure. Of which 1 cup actually comes from the gravy which you have already prepared and kept it ready. On top of it, I am adding 2 cups of water. Once that is done, you may check for salt at this stage and then give it a gentle stir to mix everything together. Squeeze some lemon juice on top of it. Now cover it with the lid and put the valve on top of it and bring it to sealing position. Cancel the saute mode and then press the pressure cook mode and set it for 5 minutes at high pressure. We are going to cook the whole thing over high pressure for 5 minutes. Once done, it is going to give you a beep and you are going to quickly do a manual pressure release. Now gently twist and open the lid. Mmm, smells good. Let's garnish it with some chopped coriander leaves and 
some ghee on top of it. Give it a gentle mix to fluff up the rice. Looks like our rice has cooked perfectly and this is how your biryani should look like. As soon as it's done, transfer it to a serving bowl or a tray. Leaving them in the pot actually turns them really mushy. So you may want to transfer them right away to avoid overcooking. And that's it. Our chicken biryani is all ready to be served. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.